Yo, what is up everybody, Hydra here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on my thoughts on the Avengers game mode. You know, I'm not going to spoil anything, but also my thoughts on Avengers Endgame, the actual movie, and what I feel like Fortnite could have done to make this uh, Fortnite um, and Avengers crossover thingy a little bit better because as of now there are three days left in the Avengers mode being in the game and so far we've only received two skins and if you guys don't know those two skins I'm gonna put them up on screen the actual character versions in real life you have Black Widow and you have Star Lord from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy but basically um, I find it pretty cool how they decided to put skins in the game and I'm, and I'm not gonna complain because the Black Widow skin actually looks really cool, but I'm not a big fan of the Star-Lord skin. I just don't really get the feel for it like I do with the Black Widow skin. And no, it's not because, oh my god, Black Widow's the Avengers, you know. It's not that type of deal. I just don't really like the looks of the Star-Lord skin. I feel like they could have done way better and put more time into it, which kind of is a problem. And I'm wondering if that's why they haven't put other Marvel skins into the game yet. I feel like for the skins, uh, Epic Games and Fortnite, whichever one is in charge of that, I don't even know who's in charge of what, I honestly just play the game and watch the competitive scene, but I feel like they could have put more of the Marvel skins and Guardian of the Galaxy skins into the game. It would kind of be hard to put Thanos and the Chitauri skins into the game because the uh, character models are kind of bigger than the other one. I can see the Chitauri being in the game, but Thanos, I can't really see it. Just like if uh, any Avenger skins were put in other than Black Widow, I couldn't see the Hawk being in it because he's really big and I don't really know any other skins that would really be that big like the Hulk and Thanos but basically I feel like Epic Games they could have put more skins into the game they could have gone for Iron Man Captain America Thor Hawkeye just like they put the weapons they implemented these characters weapons into the game so we got like really hype expecting to get these skins in the game and we honestly didn't get any of them except for Black Widow which is honestly a bummer and I feel like Epic Games kind of trolled us on that one. I don't know if it's something to do with uh, Marvel Studios or if Fortnite just didn't really have much time. I honestly don't know. I really wish we could have more of skins, me personally. The only skins I would buy from uh, Marvel that would be put into the game would be... Um, geez, I don't know where this person is shooting me from. Captain Marvel and Iron Man, those are my favorite two Avengers. I would also get the Captain America if that came into the game. I actually saw like people made their own skin models and all that, and they actually looked pretty good, and I'm like, Epic Games should really hire these people to freaking put some skins in the game, you know, because recently I haven't liked any of the new skins that have come out. And I don't think Epic is running out of ideas. I think Fortnite's just like... I feel like they're not putting as much time into skins that they should. And they're trying to do too much instead of keeping it basic like we like them. One thing I gotta say that I missed from uh, last time when Avengers Infinity War came out was the game mode with Thanos where basically you would go and grab the gauntlet, you'd turn into Thanos, and it's basically just like a normal solo game with Thanos in it, which is which was really really fun i'm kind of upset that they didn't bring that and the only mode is avengers in game i feel like they should have done both and kind of just like had two separate game modes i know it would probably be a little overkill on the servers but if it was able to run i feel like that could have also been a thing but this game mode i find it really really cool because if you're the chitauri and thanos you actually have to go and collect all six infinity stones and if you're the Avengers, you have to defend them. Basically, it feels like you're playing a game version of it, which is honestly what it is. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just uh, find it also really cool how you have challenges where you can unlock certain things like Avengers wise. If you guys want to see, I have my challenges completed, so none of that stuff is up there. It's XP, so I'm going to come over here really fast. And I'm going to go ahead and build a metal wall. And I'm going to show you guys the spray. 
that I got right here, the Avengers logo, the logo will pop up once the wall is fully built. But I honestly think those sprays are actually pretty cool and it's something to honestly work for. If you guys also want to see something, I don't know if you can see the banner from inside of the game. So I'm probably going to have to show you guys out of the game. But basically, the other emote I got is Captain America Shield right here. And also the Thor Stormbreaker. And also, you know, I'm pretty sure the last item was a glider. I also need to stop saying also because I say also so much. <laughs> That's the last time I'm saying it. But yeah, pretty much. I think this was kind of rushed. I feel like if they knew that they were going to do a little uh, team up sponsor thingy, they should have planned ahead if they didn't. Because we're, we were really expecting a bunch of skins, you know. But we only got two. Should have figured they said uh, there were two sets. But I was like, oh, it's a Marvel set and a Guardian of the Galaxy set. Which, you know, you'd expect it to be a set with multiple uh, characters. Because, you know, other character sets in the game have a bunch of different characters. I know the uh, Easter set has like six characters in it. So when they said there were two character sets, I was expecting a lot more than just Black Widow and Star-Lord, which honestly really, really upset me. Speaking of the Guardians of the Galaxy set, I feel like it would be pretty cool if we were to actually get um, a Mantis skin. Ooh, I got last kill right there. And they took out freaking um, Stan Lee's Excelsior quote at the bottom of the screen. Oh my gosh, Fortnite, what are you doing? But I feel like we should have gotten a Mantis skin. We could have gotten Gamora, Nebula. We could have gotten like a Groot back bling, Rocket back bling. Like who knows? Like a Drax skin. Like Fortnite could have done so much and put these things into the game. And they honestly would have made a profit from people like really big Avengers fans collecting it. That loading screen right there is really cool. You see the fish stick with the Stormbreaker just about the unleash whatever is in that man's eyes pretty cute though I'm not gonna lie but the glider I got I'm gonna show you guys really fast is actually the Avengers Quinjet right here pretty cool if this thing isn't too loud I might actually run this but other than that like this Avengers logo right here I love it I probably will never take this thing off it just fits so well but basically like the Avenger skins compared to these skins would have been so much better like these skins honestly don't even really look too good to me I don't know what they were doing what they were thinking but like as you guys can see I still have 150 V bucks in my account and I don't think that's gonna change unless you know you get freaking Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hawkeye, Captain Marvel in the game. Like, come on, Epic. You could have done so much more to freaking make the freaking crossover so much better. But I guess it doesn't really work that way. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. All I got to say, not going to spoil anything. And I'm not going to talk about it for a while. So I won't spoil anything. Avengers Endgame, me personally, it was an amazing movie. Kept me on my toes. 10 out of 10. I would recommend seeing it. The movie was just really good. I loved it. People say it was predictable. But it was predictable in ways to where. Like the way they did it was just mind blowing. So like. If you haven't seen it. I'd recommend going to see it whenever. Hopefully it doesn't get spoiled. So you know. Hashtag don't spoil the end game. But I'm Hydra and I'm out. Peace.